Hi, I'm going to show you how to create talking points anywhere in the world from any computer. First thing you need to do is go onto the home site, www.mygeoreader.com, and this is the home page that you'll find. Then you need to click on Login with your username and password. If you do not have a username or password, you can easily create an account here. Once you do, you just sign in. The next thing you need to do is just click on this button that says Add Talking Point. And then on the right hand side you need to use the Google Maps to find the location of your talking point. So just click, scroll out, and then move the map to where you would like to place a talking point. In my case, it's going to be New York State in the town of Ithaca. So move your location to the center and continue to scroll in until you can get down to a close view of the roads and the map. In Ithaca is Cornell University and that's when I'm, where I'm going to be placing my talking point. Continue to scroll in until you have enough detail so you can place your talking point precisely where you want it. In my case, it's at the McGraw Tower here. So the blue bubble will appear and that's the location of the talking point. Then on the left hand side you want to add a title. McGraw Tower. And you want to create commentary. So this is what the GeoReader will actually be saying uh, when a person walks by your talking point. So on October 8th, 1997, a pumpkin appeared atop the spire of this tower. In April 2005, a disco ball was found in the same place. How they were placed there is not publicly known. Next you want to put a keyword into the tags field. In our case we can do pranks, Cornell. In the commentary you have 200 uh, characters uh, maximum. Then you want to figure out what permission you want to give to your talking point. Either make it publicly viewable for your friends only or only yourself. In our case, we'll stick with publicly viewable. And if you have a, a file you want to upload of a picture of a talking point, you can, you can add that file here. Once that's all done, you click Submit, and your talking point is officially added. Now, what's good about this map is that if you want to create another talking point, immediately following your first one, then this map will leave off at the last talking point. So you can easily go back and scroll in and be in the same location and add another talking point on the Cornell campus or in the surrounding areas of Ithaca. Once you've created all the talking points that you're interested in, um, you can manage your talking points by clicking on My Talking Points. And here it'll upload all the different talking points that are present in, this, in, in the Google Maps that are viewable. Here we can look at McGraw Tower, what we just created, and if you want to make any changes to the title or to the commentary, you can do that here. And you can change how, who, who can see the talking point. You can also see how many times it's been selected, spoken, or read 
um, ongoing. So as other people begin to enjoy your talking point, you can monitor how often um, you know it's being it's being read. If you want to move the point, if you didn't create it in the right spot, you can do that, and then you can just make sure you save your changes here. And once you're done, you just log out and your talking point is official. And anytime somebody with the GeoReader app has um, walks by your talking point, your commentary will automatically be read. So thank you for using GeoReader. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it explained to you how you can easily create a talking point anywhere in the world from your laptop. Thank you, and have fun!